All right, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Andy Cade. My name is Andy, as always, and uh, today we're resuming our playthrough of Go Go Nippon, my first journey to Japan. And in the previous episode, um, Akira took us out to Akihabara, Electric Town, Nerd Mecca of Japan and the world, really. So, all right. So, um, let's go ahead and uh, continue uh, exploring Akihabara. Wow! This is... Yes, this is Akihabara's main promenade. So you pretty much see this, like, right when you get out of the train station. There are buildings lined up on both sides. It seems so busy. Speaking of which, you don't smoke, do you? No, I don't. Why do you ask? Lately, more places in Tokyo are banning smoking on the street. Shota District, of which Akihabara is a part, is one of those. They find you smoking out here. You could get a fine. So I just figured I'd check. Which is nice, because I'm a non-smoker, so that's cool. You see, it's that way in America and Europe, too. More and more parts are cracking down on smoking, it seems. I guess so. That's true. Hmm, anyway. Now that I look at it, nearly all the stores here are electronic stores. Electronics stores? Yeah, I guess. That's amazing! There really are a lot of electronic stores. That's what they call Akihabara, the electric town. Electric town? Why are there so many electronic stores here in Akihabara? Do you know about Edo? Edo. That was the name of Tokyo back in the days of the samurai. The era, the era was called the Edo period. Have you ever heard of it? The Edo period. Well, it's no big deal if you haven't, you stupid American. Anyway, there were a lot of fires in Tokyo back in those days. This was an open section of land designated to deter the spread of fire. Around that time, they built a shrine of, to Akiba Dai Gogan. Gongen, yeah, Akiba Dai Gongen, the god of fire prevention. So the area was called Akiba no Harappa, the Akiba Plains, which was shortened Akiba Hara, and eventually Akihabara, which was easier to say. Wow! See, I didn't actually know all of that. I knew that it was uh, dedicated to the god of fire prevention. You kind of see little shrines to that uh, deity all around the place. Flash forward much later, and by the time World War II ended, the whole area was scorched earth. But a lot of radio parts stores began opening up in the area. From there, electronic stores began building up around them until it became a town full of household appliance stores. I see, even Akihabara has a long history behind it. But even the electric town image is changing these days. Lately, it's more of an otaku town, you know, dedicated fans of anime games, manga, you know, in America and in other non-Japan parts of the world, otaku is mostly um, a word used for like, you know, like it says here, fans of primarily anime and manga, not so much games, I guess, It's most unless it's like Japanese games, but basically just like fans of uh, Japan that are into anime and manga and stuff like that, so. Um, but in Japan, it just means, like, uh, it's kind of an umbrella term for somebody who's, like, a diehard fan of something. You know, whether that's electronics, uh, military stuff, trains, you know, anime manga, of course. Uh, but otaku is, you know, more of a a broader term than just somebody who likes anime and manga. But that's, you know, in Japan. You know, outside of Japan, yeah. <laughs> that is what it is, so. Anyway. That's true. If I had to choose, I'd say that's uh, more of my image of it, too. And the more we walk around, the more I see stores like that popping up. Whoa! That's gotta be an anime store. As long as we're here, do you want to go in? Uh, are you sure? 
<laughs> you want to go in, right? So why not? You're a gentleman, right? So go in. Well, if you don't mind... <laughs> why would I mind? Come on, let's go. Sure. Whoa, the store has all the sky. It's, it's full of the anime goods. It's like a dream come true. Come on, stop making a scene, you stupid foreigner. Wow! I knew this anime. And look at these things. You have to stop acting so amazed at everything. That store is full of doujinshi. Doujinshi? You mean doujinshi jo doujinshi? Jesus, I can't say it that fast. I don't know what you mean, but probably. The magazines they sell at the comic market. I knew it! Wow, I heard all about it, but I never thought there would be actual stores that sell doujinshi. Hey, let's go. Come on. Kya. Fine, I get it. Stop holding my arm. Oh, Jesus, he even got the shoujo sparkle. Wow! So this is the doujinshi. I never thought they really existed. They even have anime books. Also known as manga. This is amazing. Heh, <laughs> you really are hopeless. You're like a child. Hey, let's go to that floor. Huh, what, wait a minute, that's... Huh, what is this place? Wait. Is this... The adults only? No way! This is all... Come on, cut it out. Don't take me to a place like this, you idiot. Baka Gaijin. Baka Baka. Sorry, I totally didn't know about the basements of Akapabra. Just a pro tip. <laughs> Especially if you're with uh, a female companion. Uh, don't go to the basements of Akihabara, um, unless you're into that sort of thing, or looking for that sort of thing. Uh, just, uh, be warned. Don't go to the basements. Come, come on, this is completely humiliating. You dragged me into a porn shop called the Lion's Den. It had a ten-foot dildo. How'd you even stick it up there? I don't know. American girls are so weird. Sorry, I didn't know it was there. That's what she said. But it was amazing to see it. The giant dildo. All of those books were... Well, you know. Maybe if I have time, I'll come back here on the sly and have a closer look. Oh, wait. Okay. So he's talking to himself. Got it. Ellipses. Eh? Eh? You were just thinking about coming back here on your own later, weren't you? What? I was totally not thinking... Ah, damn it. What? I, I was not thinking that. Well, <laughs> anyway, let's walk around the area a little more. Alright, sure. I know. Do you remember that bu big building in front of the station? It was built just a few years ago. There are a lot of restaurants inside it. Past that, there's a store where you can try to make a, uh, an Africo, 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 Oh, okay. Oh, you know, um, Africo, after recording. Uh, it doesn't make it much clearer. Eh, you know, after recording, after recording, what about that? Don't you understand? Okay, you know, when a voice actor does the voices for an anime or something, you know. Oh, you mean post-recording. Post-recording? When a voice actor records a character's voice for an anime, it's called post-recording in English, or ADR. Really? And why do we call it Afuruko? Afuruko. I couldn't tell you. I had no idea. <laughs> oh, it doesn't make any sense. This is why I can't stay in English. It's not like it's English's fault. I'm telling her that would be like sticking my hand into hot oil. Anyway, 
You can do an alpha echo there. Got it? Uh, sure, it, it sounds interesting. Doesn't it? Now, as we go down the street, we'll start to see more PuzzleCon parts stores. Uh, what is that, Akira? Oh, PuzzleCon is a personal computer. You know that, right? Yeah, it's personal computer in English. Though usually we just call them computers for short. Or PC. Just saying. Really? Then why is an Africa just after recording? She's still on about that, isn't she? Ha, <laughs> we walked around a lot. Yeah, I'm beat. Would you like to take a break somewhere? Sure, so where should we go? Let's see. Hmm, I know. I'll tell you when we get there. Come on, this way. Let's go. What's going on? Where is she taking me? Is it to the Love Hotel? This way. What's this? It's like a miniature skyscraper. Come on, the elevator's here. I don't know. Here's my That'd be for two today. Please. This way, please. I knew it! Workers here are all dressed as ma maids. Oh, this is a maid cafe. Okay. I don't know if there's any on the skyscrapers, but uh, okay, let's roll with it. Aw, that's nice. The nice uh, sentimental music on. Here's your menu. See, so this is the infamous maid cafe. I was just thinking how classy these maid cafes are for giving you a glass of water even before you order. Even though they do that in America as well. That's not a maid cafe thing. All restaurants in Japan do that. And everywhere else in the world, pretty much. Huh, really? Yeah, water, tea, and a hand wipe are the basics of Japanese hospitality. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's another cool thing, you know, especially on a really cold day, is to get those really hot uh, towels, you know, you use them for your hands and stuff. Japan really is attentive to your needs. Anyway, I heard the food here is really tasty, so why not try some? Uh, oh, sure. Have you decided? Hmm, I'll have the daily special. How about you? Uh, I'll have the thing in the photo here, the egg thing. You know the one. That's omurice. Okay, one daily spe special and one omurice. Drinks are free at lunchtime. Oh, drinks are free at lunchtime. Can we get that? Mm, that's... Uh, coffee, please. We'll have a coffee and an Earl Grey tea for uh, after the meal. As you wish. Ah. And I also like, um, one of those cakes. One cake for after the meal? As you wish. I just heard that the cakes here are really good. I have an extra stomach for sweets. Extra stomach? You know, it goes to a different place. A different place. A different place? What does that mean? Not really different, just different. You know, different. Come on, stop asking such complicated questions and accept that all Japanese women have two stomachs, at least. Which uh, may or may not be true, because I know that uh, there's a lot of like cafes and stuff with like a lot of you know really elaborate uh, sweets and parfaits and stuff like that, and like my blood sugar skyrockets just walking by the place. It's like, oh, Jesus. I think I gained like five pounds looking at it. Where'd that stretch mark come from? No! But I'm not the one who brought it up. It's fine. If you want to eat the cake, to eat the cake. I don't mind. In my country of USA, we call that having your cake and eating your cake as well. Sorry for your wait. One daily special and one on rice. Ho ho! This looks pretty great. Yeah, so let's eat. Itadakimasu! Itadakimasu! Mmm, yeah. Om nom nom! Om nom nom! On that, om the rice! It's rice, and it's wrapped up in an egg! Wow! 
And the rice is flavored too. Is this ketchup? Wow, it's so good. Uh, you never eaten omu rice before? No, omu rice must be a Japanese thing, right? I never heard of it in any other country. Really? But I don't think Japan invented it. It must exist in Europe and America. I mean, probably, but uh, I've never seen it there. Omu rice, <laughs> omu rice, was it? The name is kind of strange, isn't it? Now that you mention it, the rice is obvious enough. But where's the omu from? Uh, probably omelet, right? Omelet, omu rice, rets, oh, omu rets. Right? It's a bit like that Afureko thing you were talking about earlier, right? Yeah. Now that I think about it, there are an awful lot of words where we borrowed English to make our own. That's true. But I think Japan's tendency to borrow things from other countries is what makes it interesting. Well, I mean, it's one thing to borrow stuff, but it, it's another thing to make it your own. And that's what I really do actually like about Japan is that, yeah, they take a lot of things you know, they borrow a lot of things from other cultures and stuff like that. But instead of, you know, trying to be like that other culture, they m still put that little Japanese twist on it to make it their own, and that's pretty cool. Hmm. As I stare lovingly into your eyes. Ah, oh, that reminds me, there's something I've been wondering. This is a maid cafe, right? Yes, it is. Isn't it obvious from the way they're dressed? Normal cafes don't have waitresses dressed up as maids. That's crazy. Who would think of such a thing? I know, but I've always heard that in the maid cafes they would call you master when they meet you. Oh yeah, that's right. I think most maid cafes will greet you with the phrase, Welcome home, master. Some, some of them will write phrases on your alma rice and ketchup or play games with you. Or sing songs on the stage or have their pictures taken with you. But you have to ask for that, and it might be extra, so. Don't just go bringing your video camera in there and, you know, thinking everything is gonna be all good, because you're most likely gonna get the, uh, the X. Yeah, this place doesn't do any of it. Eh. Really? Why not? Yeah, why not? Since this restaurant is. Shinese. Uh. Sh shinese. That's made cafes go. What does Shinise mean? I think traditional is the right word. It's been around for a long time. Okay. Si. Wow. That's a delicious food and a calming atmosphere. A good place to relax. Huh? That's the restaurant's concept. There are a lot of maid cafes around nowadays, and they all supply different amusing services. But this place doesn't do any of it. They're continuing on the way they always have. So this is the place where you can get a taste of refinement in the bustling town of Akihabara. That's why I took you here when I figured you needed a rest. Maybe you would have preferred a more lively place? Nah, not at all. Especially with all the hustle and bustle, it's nice to just relax and unwind. So, I mean, uh, <laughs> I mean, lively places are fun too, and I'd be lying if I said I wasn't interested. But having a nice, quiet, quiet lunch where we can talk is nice too. It's a good change of pace. Really? That's good. Thank you for saying that. Ah, my nose. Akira looks so kind right now. Hmm, what is it? This is nothing. All right, and we're still here. Here you are, here after dinner, coffee and Earl Grey tea and your cake. Wow, let's go. <coughs> Yeah. Wow, this looks great. Itakimas. Rob, 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 rob. All in one bite. So good. An extra stomach. That explains everything. Hmm, what was that? Nothing, nothing. Yeah, yeah. That reminds me. Do you spend a lot of time in this otaku? I mean, otaku, I mean, subculture? Hmm, why would you think that? Well, when I said I wanted to go to Akihabara, you immediately volunteered to show me around. You knew just where the anime stores were in this maid cafe, too. So I was just thinking... Is it weird for a woman to be an otaku? 
Weird, why do you ask? Well, I know there's more awareness about them nowadays, but a lot of people still think girls who like anime and manga are weird. Yeah, I think of that about guys too, so. Some people are actively disgusted by them, so. I don't think you need to worry about that. Huh? Well, everyone has their own hobbies and likes, right? It's not for anyone else to pass judgment on. No matter what you like, you're still Akira, right? That's true. Okay, I understand. I'm still Akira, so there's nothing to worry about. Uh, that's the way. Anyway. Anyway. I like those things too, so I'm glad we like the same things, you know? Andy. Ah, uh, that reminds me. You like history, right, Akira? History? Not especially, but I don't hate it either. Why do you ask? Well, you knew all about the origin of Akihabara, right? So I just figured you... Oh, I just looked up a lot of stuff so I could give you a nice tour. Really? Oh, <laughs> no. Not like that. I kind of think it's just common knowledge. Ah, oh, yeah. This cake really is good, though. I sure love tea. Anyway... Oh, 1100 yen for the omelet rice lunch set, huh? Yeah, that's about right. In Tokyo, it can get kind of pricey, so... Oh no, we better get going. Yeah, after we left, leave the maid cafe, we got a lot more sightseeing to do. I also need to start dinner preparations, so, uh, can you go around to other maid, maid cafes by yourself if you- er, so, so, uh, you can go around to other maid cafes by yourself if you want. I said it won't. <laughs> no need to force it. Not. Where we say. We'll leave it at that for now. Anyway, let's go home. Alright. Akihabara. What an interesting town. Hope I can come back here someday. Maybe with Akira again. <laughs> Not likely. And we're heading back home. Heading back home. La la la. Alright, so I think that about does it for uh, uh, this episode of Andy Cade. And with that said, this is the Andy song. It's time for now. Thank you guys for tuning in to my playthrough of Gogo Go Nippon, my first trip to Japan here on Andy Cade, and for watching my other stuff. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.